Next up, we have got the 49ers, which are the sixth seed against the three seed Cowboys. The Cowboys are three point favorites. And Jake, I'll let you go ahead and start this one off. Yeah, I mean, the Niners all day, every day. Um, I said it beginning of the season. I'm still sticking with it. The Cowboys, just everything goes wrong. Everything goes wrong when everything is supposed to go right for them, okay? This is a playoff game. They somehow got in the playoffs. They somehow went 11-5, even though they played very shaky football at a point, like at, for a long point in that season. Um, I just think, listen, uh, I think this is going to be a good game. I'm not saying it's not. Uh, anybody doubt, is Jimmy Garoppolo playing this game? Yeah. I knew he was banged up. Yeah. Playing. Okay. Um, yeah, so Jimmy G, we listen. He's not the best quarterback in the world, but he's gotten them to a Super Bowl, so we know he can do it. Um, and listen, I just don't – if you're giving me Kyle Shanahan versus Mike McCarthy, and again, I know Mike McCarthy's won a Super Bowl, but that was a long time ago, and the, he wasn't going against the complicated shit that Kyle Shanahan has thrown at him. Um, so I, I, I just got to pick Kyle Shanahan in that matchup. And, uh, yeah, right, listen, it's going to be a good game, but I can't pick the Cowboys. I can't. Uh, so I, I got the Niners in this one. I think it'll be a close game, though. What's the spread on this one? Uh, three. Minus the Cowboys are favored by three. All right, yeah, so give me the yes. 49ers straight up. Mm. This is the hardest game to pick all weekend. Like, hardest game to pick, and it's probably the most exciting game all weekend, too, just because you really don't know who's going to win. Um, uh, the Cowboys have been looking really good over the last stretch of the season. Uh, Dak Prescott especially uh, from sort of his, like, mid – mid to late season slump over the last three weeks. He's definitely uh, been playing better. And I think he just set the franchise record for touchdowns in a season uh, uh, last week too. Ah, But the 49ers, Kyle Shanahan in his offense. um, It's scary to say the least, especially as a Packers fan, very scary. Uh, They're going to be trying to run the ball all day. uh, And I'm sure Kyle Shanahan is going to be scheming up some stuff uh, that we haven't seen in the regular season yet. Um, that being said, the Cowboys defense did a complete 180 from last season to this season. Uh, they said in the offseason, I think, in Hard Knocks, uh, Mike McCarthy was like, he's never seen uh, one group uh, completely flip flop like from year to year uh, as great yeah. as this defense has. And I think Michael Parsons is the biggest uh, reason why. And I know TJ Watt's probably going to win defense player of the year, um, but Michael Parsons would still have my vote just because of how. He changed that defense overall. Yeah. This is a tough one. I think I'm going to roll with the Cowboys here because um, they are, are at home. Um, and I think the uh, the Niners give me some worries in their uh, secondary. I don't think it's as good as years past. Definitely not as good as their 2019 squad um, that had Richard Sherman. And I think Dak Prescott is going to be able to throw on them a little bit. That pass rush is obviously going to be insane. Um, but they have the offensive line to, to protect him. Um, although they're a little bit banged up if the Cowboys can get a running game in this game and they could, sh- and they could rush for over hundred yards and they could, you know, uh, control the clock and control the pace of this game. I think they win pretty easily. Um, I don't think it's as close as people think if they can't run the ball. And that's probably what, uh, the 49ers, uh, game plan is going to be defensively is to stop them from running the ball and to put the, the game in Dak's hands. Then maybe the 49ers have a better chance. I'm going to take the Cowboys here. And I think they're probably going to cover three points is a little too small. Um, so I think the, the Cowboys probably cover maybe win by like six or something. Um, I'm, I'm trusting the Cowboys here and I'm trusting Dak more than anything, because I don't think Jimmy G is that guy, even though he played outstanding last week, I think push comes to shove. I just think he's too small for the moment. So. Yeah, something about, and I, I said this in, I think the episode before last, something about, Jimmy G throwing in Trayvon Diggs direction just kind of worries me because Mm -hmm. it is Jimmy G. He's prone to turnovers when he is off. So I feel like it really, the game is going to be hinged on which Jimmy Garoppolo we get. If he's going to be turning the ball over, the Cowboys are hundred percent going to win it. I think that he has to be perfect in this game. He cannot turn the ball over a single time if they want to win it, because I think that's how close this is. I think a lot of it is going to be reliant on the 49ers run game. And if they can get it going, because I think that they can. I mean, the Cowboys run defense hasn't been fantastic this year. I think they are ranked like 13th or something. And they're they're like a little thin at D tackle, really. Yeah. Um, so Kyle Shanahan knows how to scheme up a run game. We've seen it before. That's how they got to the Super Bowl to begin with. So if they can get it going, I think the 49ers can win it. But I 
don't think that they'll get it going enough. I think that the Cowboys will force Jimmy G to throw, and that's when I'm scared. So I am going to take the Cowboys in this one as well. And I think that they'll cover the three points. I think Trayvon Diggs is bound to get an interception in this game, like yeah. bound to. I would never really bet on someone to get a pick because that's kind of just like hard to hard to like envision. But I think Trayvon Diggs all day, all day. I could definitely see it. I could see that or – I could, I don't know. I don't see like any in betweens in this game. It's either going to go one way completely lopsided or the other. I think either Trayvon Diggs gets a pick, looks good, or Debo Samuel absolutely cooks him the entire game. Yeah. Debo Samuel, one of the most versatile, play- like crazy, 100%. crazy what he's doing. I don't think Debo will let him get a pick because I think D- Debo's like tough. Like he, like yeah. he's gonna fight you for that ball. He's not gonna let you catch it. Like he, he plays a lot tougher than like his size. You know, yeah, because right? he's only six foot and like two fifteen or something like that. Yeah. But yeah. He, yeah, he's a tough guy. I've been saying since he came out of the draft, he was a running back playing wide receiver, and yeah. that's quite literally what he is right now. Yeah, is a running exactly. back playing receiver or receiver yeah. playing running back. Either way, you want to spin it. 